Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. I'm so glad you came over to our channel today. And if you are new to my channel, I want to introduce myself. My name is Teresa. Today's projects, I'm going to show y'all some couple of ideas of what we can do with some vintage luggage. These are great finds at yard sales and thrift stores. And also, I'm going to show you a cute way that we can repurpose a shutter. So y'all stay tuned. I hope y'all get tons of inspiration and I hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it. And also, go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Okay, the first project, I'm going to give y'all some ideas of how we can redo some, some old luggage. And luggage, to me, is a great find. A lot of times you'll see this a lot of times at yard sales and thrift stores some of it is great the way it is it ages really well and we just keep those pieces you know as is some pieces need a little help and i think this luggage it, it was okay but i i felt like it needed a little makeover so i purchased this at a yard sale from one of my friends that lives right down the road she has yard sales and does fundraisers for relay for life so she had a lot of treasures so she let me come over one day and go through her, her garage and just go through her yard sale items and this piece of luggage was there she let me have this for one dollar so I brought it home and as you can see I'm ripping out all that fabric that was on the inside because over the years it just I don't know it just kind of rotted and and it had disintegrated basically so I ripped all that out I cleaned out the inside really good and you can see I went in and even took that little piece that went around the rim I just took all that out and I chalk painted and painted the whole thing white so um now I'm just going to give you some ideas and things that we can do to it. You can go and decorate the inside and really spend a lot of time on decorating the inside of it because there's so many things you can do with luggage. But I'm going to show you first how we can decorate the outside. And I'm going to, you know, probably do another video and do something for the inside of it. But I painted it white and now I just, I'm just going over it with one of my favorite stencils because I felt like, you know, I wanted to put something on the front of it. It. so I went with this stencil and I always have all my stencils um, in my Amazon store and that link is down below in my description box so um, and I'm using a different kind of chalk paint my favorite I think is Rust-Oleum and I think this is um, I'm not sure of the brand but it's it's not my favorite so it bled a little bit so I had to go in with a little paintbrush and some white paint and kind of touch up some of my letters so now I'm taking my clay molds and y'all my past two videos I have really been practicing and showing y'all how you know we can use these molds and the stamps so I have not used this package yet. It's more of some little ornate scroll um, pieces. And so I'm going to take my cornstarch and I've showed y'all in this in my past videos. You know, you just want to brush your molds with your cornstarch first. And that way that will help your clay from sticking and they, they come out really easy. And I know a lot of y'all have reached out to me and um told me you know a lot of this stuff is sold out because it's so popular right now the iron orchid designs um stamps and the clay molds so um if you go to my amazon store and in craft supplies i have listed a bunch of clay molds you know you can use they're they're you, you can bake things in them but you can also make crafts in them but they're very inexpensive on amazon and i have went in and tried to do some of the shopping for you i've put some you know affordable clay in there i've put some stamps that i thought were really you know pretty and also some of these clay molds and like i say they're all very affordable so if you go to my my link to my amazon store they'll all be under the craft supply category 
So, and I've showed in a couple of videos, so I won't go into detail about this, and I'll link those two videos down below, but you just, you know, take your, your mold, your clay out, and you just want to rub it in your hands and just start warming it up a little bit and just make it flexible to where it'll go down into your mold really well. And then you just work it down into the mold with your fingers, you know, and if you need to take some of it out, take some of it out, or if you need to add to it, add to it. Basically, what we want to do is we want to mold it around you know, the design really well, but we want the back flat. And I told you in my last video, I've watched, um, you know, I've been watching videos on how to do this because there is a technique to it. <laughs> and there are tips and tricks to make this be more successful. And I watched a video and they used a plastic, um, not a plastic scraper. I'm stuck on plastic scrapers. They do like a little putty knife. And you can run a little putty knife across it in a certain direction. And that will also help flatten it out. And it will also, you know, pull that excess clay off of it. So you'll see in just a minute, I'm going to take my little putty knife and just kind of run it across. And, you know, I just want it, like I say, I'm new at this. And, and, you know, in the videos I watched, it said, you know, to practice, practice, practice. And that's what I'm doing. But I also love the um design and the extra detail that these clay molds add to my craft projects so i'm i'm really enjoying using them and it you know and like i said in the past these are kind of an investment but you know once you initially buy them you can reuse them and reuse them and then you've got them and like i say we can use these for so many things and they just really add to your project but i just took a putty knife and you can see it just kind of you know flattened it out some, and then you just go back over the edges and take all the excess off. And now, since we've put that cornstarch on it, you just kind of want to work it out just a little bit, and then it'll just pretty much come out on its own. Now, there was two of these um, type designs, the scrolls, and then I'm going to take another one of the designs um, in, in my next project. But I, I'm just trying to show y'all in this video things that give you more ideas of things that we can put these on and just another way that they add a de you know add detail to something so for the, for my stencil i'm going to add one of these on each side right here and i'm showing you just to kind of bump up that bump up that that stencil now you can paint these any color you want you can also add like a clear um wax to it and then put like some kind of a colored glaze on it if you wanted to go that route and just let it you know go down into those crevices and cracks and add a little bit more texture to it i'm just going to go back over it once the clay dries i'll go back over it with some white chalk paint you know just to kind of touch it up but really when the clay dries it dries really white so you really don't have to paint it if you don't want to so i'm just putting mine on with elmer's wood glue and i just worked it on with my finger so i could smooth it out real good so i wouldn't have a lot of glue to come out you know once i put it on the luggage and then if i did i just took a damp rag and i just kind of wiped off the excess glue around the edges and you just kind of have to work it to where both of them kind of look consistent on both sides and you've got both of them straight and again i'm just going around the edges and i'm wiping off the excess glue and i think these just really added another detail to my stencil. Now I'm just gonna let y'all sit back and just see how the ways that I decorated the luggage and give you some ideas of how you can decorate with it, but see what a great detail those little clay molds made to my stencil. And I just added some flowers, you know, some lace and ribbons and some little vintage keys. If you like this video so far, I hope you'll hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to.
You don't know I'm looking With you everything is complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I... Okay, from my same friend that had the yard sale where I got the luggage, I also got this shutter she had the shutter there and i also got this for one dollar and y'all i think this is the longest tallest shutter i have ever seen <laughs> it was hard to film it because it's so tall i don't know what kind of house this was in but it probably had 20 foot ceilings but anyway i'm going to take it outside because it's a beautiful day and i'm going to work on it and i'm just going to scrub it down um really good with my candle wax and then i'm going to chalk paint it white and it took me about an hour to paint this whole thing because i had to apply probably about three coats of paint to it but being outside is i love to paint outside on a really hot um sunny day because a lot of times it helps your paint dry a lot faster so with the help of the sun my paint you know each layer would dry pretty quick and once it dried then i'd go back over it with another layer the thing that was the most time consuming of this of course were those little um shutter slats because you have to get into little corners of all those and i had to get a smaller paintbrush to do that but once i got it you know painted over really good then i'm going to go around with my plastic scraper and i'm going to distress around the edges of it and then that way i'm going to give it that more of that worn chippy look and then i'm going to show you um you know how we can put some detail to it using the clay molds Okay, those three at the bottom, I made those. I thought about putting those on my luggage, but I decided not to. But I'm going to use these. I'm going to use these other little scrolly looking uh, little ornate features. I'm going to make two of those, and then I'm going to use that one, that little medallion at the top. And then I'm going to use some wood glue again. I'm going to attach them and design them to the top of my shutter. It just really added that really, I don't know, kind of a baroque uh, Victorian look to it and then I got Ben when he came home from work to put a couple little screw holes with his drill and I added a piece of hardware to the center of it so I can hang things so I'm gonna you know style it for you and just let you see you know now what a great makeover the shutter um, you know ended up you know went from a drab brown so now we got a really pretty shabby sheet looking shutter and there's so many things you can do with shutters you know you can hang you know vintage clothes on them you can hang bags handbags there are so many things you can also add you know glass doorknobs to them um I, i've got several shutters throughout my home that i hang on the wall and i hang hats on them i do so many things with shutters so i never pass these up when i see them at yard sales or thrift stores so I hope y'all got lots of inspiration, and I hope if you ever see any shutters at the thrift store yard sale, you'll grab those up, and you've got ideas of, how, you know, how you can make over them. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on, just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving. Okay, y'all, this is just a little fun something. I want to just always be able to inspire y'all in so many ways, not just with home decor and projects, but just 
going out and doing an act of love or kindness for someone and I had a sweet viewer that sent me a pack of cards and this is them and she sent me a whole package full of just gifts and this was part of them so I had a whole pack of cards and I thought you know what this pack of cards is not going to do me any good just sitting around I need to get them and I need to think of people, I need to address them, put some stamps on them, and mail them out to these people. Just to let people know that I'm thinking of them. So y'all, my challenge is, get some note cards. Very inexpensive at Dollar Tree. You can get a little pack of prayer cards. Write a sweet little handwritten note on it. Just tell that person you're thinking about them, or if they're sick, hope you're get, they're getting well. Invite them to church. I had a guy that has not been to church since the pandemic. And so he hasn't attended um, service in person for over a year and a half. I gave him a card and sent it to him. And I told him how much I missed him in church. Y'all, I want y'all to know he was in church on Sunday. Not that he was there because of my card. But I kind of want to think that maybe maybe I did nudge him to come back in person. And he, you know, he felt comfortable coming back. So just an act of kindness. Just show somebody some love. Hand write a little message on a card, put it in the mail, y'all, and send it out. Send it to your family, your friends, your neighbors. You know, even if you want to save stamps, just go and put them in your mail in, in your neighbor's mailbox. Because an act of kindness and a sweet message on a card could go a long way to make somebody stay. Okay, y'all, it's the end of the video, so I have to tell y'all goodbye till my next video. But if y'all need a brightened up day for some reason, maybe you're just not having a good day or maybe you've gotten some bad news or you just need a little lift, y'all send me your mailing address in my email. I'll be happy to send you a little message and help just kind of lift you up. Y'all, y'all really lift me up. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. I love y'all and I hope you have a great day.